I'm Michaela. I'm Andrew. And this is NAC News. Hi, I'm Kara. My name's Sai. I'm Michaela. I'm Dawson. I'm Randa. I'm guys, I'm what? Andrew. My name's Aiden. And we are your broadcast team, NAC. Basketball is coming up next week. But Randa has a story about this week at NA. This week at North Andrew was a successful week for the FCCLA in their journey through FCCLA week. Riley Walker, a student at North Andrew, had a couple things to say about it. How did you feel about FCCLA week this year? Um, I thought FCCLA week was really fun and exciting. We got to do a lot of new things this year that we haven't in the past. And how do you think it can improve next year? Um, I'd like to be able to do some of our activities a little more, like with our family feud. I think it would have been fun to do it every day of the week, but it just didn't work out this week. So maybe next year we can get a game every day. All right. Thank you, Riley. Monday, middle school honor choir went to Fulgerson Center to perform. Junior high scholar bowl was held at Stanbury with the North Andrew team won one and lost one. High school boys had a basketball game and sadly lost with a score of 71-46. to 46. Tuesday, the 8th grade class had a field trip to the St. Joseph Museum. High school basketball was held at Rockport with the girls winning with a score of 57-26 to 26, and the boys winning with a score of 68-60. to 60. Wednesday, nothing happened at North Andrew. It was just a regular day. Thursday and Friday, the high school wrestling team went to stay in Columbia. Good luck to Maddox Cyber and Dawson Fancher at State Wrestling. Over the weekend, the high school basketball district tournament begins. Next week is National FFA Week. Don't miss it. High school basketball district tournaments will be held all week next week. Middle school sports pictures will be being taken on Thursday. On Friday, there will be a celebration for the second grade and their awesome reading skills. And that's what happened this week at North Andrew and what will be happening next week. Have you seen all those empty shelves in the stores? Yeah, it's because of all of those truckers in Canada. Ty has a story about that. The Canadian government is invoking the Emergencies Act for the first time to address the impact of continued protests across the country over COVID-19 health measurements. The Emergencies Act can provide the use of the military, but may not necessarily lead to that. And Trudeau said the government is not bringing them in but it can temporarily suspend citizens' right to free movement or assembly, and the government is taking steps to stop the financial support of illegal protests. The trucker-inspired protests have for weeks disturbed residents in Ottawa's downtown and recently impeded traffic flow at crossing at the U.S. border. Trudeau said the government is not overriding the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, nor limiting the right to peacefully assembly. For almost a week, protesters blocked the bridge linking Windsor, Ontario, and Detroit, severing the key trade route and dealing economic blows to both the U.S. and Canada. The leader of Ontario announced the next day he plans to drop the Providence vaccine passport requirement on March 1st. If its COVID-19 hospitalization rates continue to prove 
but so far the border blockades have concentrated on the Canadian side. How was your day? Good. Oh, that's good. Um, so what are you doing? Oh, um, no, wait, what's like, that? Uh, it's my pen. That does not look like a pen. That looks like a vape. It's a pen. It's, it's, it's a called vape. Blueberry it, Bliss. It's clearly a vape. It writes blue, and it's called Blueberry Bliss. It's clearly a blueberry vape. Like, okay, <laughs> would you like to know some facts about why you need to quit using your Blueberry Bliss pen? Sure. Okay. Well, uh... Vapes can harm uh, the new generation in a very bad way, and growing up can very hurt them a lot. And also, um, while you're uh, if you vape, you can um, hurt your lungs. And vaping can look like ordinary objects, which means parents, counselors, teachers they won't figure out what it is because it can look like an ordinary object, and so it can really hurt them. Okay, Truman, I think you need to say some things to her. Sure. Nicot vaping can harm a developing brain. It also contains nicotine, contains nicotine and flavoring. Smoking a single pod can be as much as a pack of cigarettes. It's really bad. I think you need to quit this. I hate vaping. That's a good idea. Do you want to buy an electric car? Not really, but the Super Bowl commercials were really trying to get me to. Kara has a story about the Super Bowl commercials. Let's watch it. Super Bowl ads are some of the main highlights for those who may not be interested in the game. Every year, these ads are one of the main topics of the game itself. Throughout the past, there have been many great and memorable commercials that make history. Some examples of the commercials are Mountain Dew's Kickstart in 2016, Puppy Monkey Baby, Snickers featuring Betty White in 2010, Budweiser's 2014 Puppy Love, 2015 Lost Dog, and their 1995 frog commercial. Hyundai Smart Park in 2020 featuring John Krinsky, Chris Evans, and Rachel Dratch. And of course, Doritos with many memorable commercials, including their 2016 ultrasound. This year in 2022, there are many great commercials featuring multiple celebrities. General Motors had Dr. Evil from Austin Powers come in and try to take over the General Motors company. Son, I've got it. I will help save the world first, then take over the world. She literally just said that. Scott, you just don't get it, do you? What? What don't I get? You don't get it. Oh, we're right back. And you're never going to get it. You can't draw me into these I'm little... You act like a child. You, you don't get I it. I am an adult. You can't push my buttons anymore. Scott! Oh! We'll reduce our carbon footprint. Whatever. Okay, let's go. We're going all electric. Everybody in! Not you, Scott. One day you're gonna run the company, baby me. Salesforce had Matthew McConaughey be an astronaut like he was in his famous movie, Interstellar, and fly on a hot air balloon throughout a city. Look to the metaverse and Mars. Let's stay here and restore ours. Yeah, it's time to blaze our trail. Because the new frontier, it ain't rocket science. It's right here. Squarespace had a Zendaya playing a girl named Sally selling seashells near the seashore. Sally sold seashells by the seashore. But her seashells didn't sell so well. Shucks. So Sally set up a seashell store on Squarespace. And soon her seashells started selling. Hellman's had Jared Mayo and Pete Davison at a party, where Jared tackled Pete. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Mom's already tackling food waste, Mayo! It's a big guy. Sorry, man. Had to. I get it. I'm very hittable. Oh. Make taste, not waste, baby! No! Verizon had Jim Carrey play one of his old characters from Cable Guy. Wait! Can I see it? Sure. Whoa! They must have locked you in a credit contract. Nope. Hidden fees? I love those. Nope. Price is the price. This may be illegal. And you could spend time in a correctional facility. 
I'm gonna need to know who installed this. Me, it's plug and play. But you can have Verizon install it. Nice van. Well, let me juice you up at work. Got one at my shop too, runs my business. Reception's good. But I'll come back tomorrow and double check. No, 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 no I don't no, think no, we'll need no, you to no, come. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I have my fingers in my ears. No, no, no. And Doritos and Cheetos combined and had animals in the jungle sing Push It. Baby, baby. Boom, 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 ah. boom, boom. Nope. These commercials come at an expensive price. This year, for 30 seconds, it costs $6.5 million, comparing to that to 2020's cost. It has gone up by 900000 We interviewed juniors Matthew Kite and Emily Manning and senior Jade about their either their favorite or least favorite commercials. Matthew and Emily both said that the worst commercial this year was the Barbie commercial featuring Anna Kendrick. Jade said that her least favorite was the Doritos, but her favorite was Kia's robot dog. We are excited to see what next year's commercials will be. <gasps> Go Bengals! They didn't win! Oh. Why is the story about the Super Bowl? Let's watch it. I'm Wyatt. I'm going to talk about the Super Bowl and the recap of the game. I will give you the stats who was the MVP of the game. Also, I will be breaking down their roster plus their stars of the show and their regular season records from the Rams and the Bengals. The stats of the game. The Rams led the game with 313 total yards. The Bengals had 305. The Bengals left with 79 rushing yards, while the Rams left with 43. The Rams led the game with 270 passing. The Bengals had 226. The Rams led with 18 first downs. The Bengals had 15. The Rams led with passes for first 14. The Bengals had 10. The Bengals led with rushes for first with five. The Rams had two. The Bengals led with the average rushing attempt, four. They both tied with 6.6 .6 with per attempt. The Rams led with two interceptions. They tied with zero fumbles. They tied with six punts. The Bengals had the most penalties with four. The Rams, two. The Bengals got sacked seven times. The Rams had the average time of possession, 30 minutes and 47 seconds. The MVP of the game. Cooper Cup was named the MVP of the Super Bowl. The winner of the Super Bowl and the loser. The Rams won on the last play by the sack of Aaron Donald, but the Rams gained to Jor and the Rams gained to Jor Joe Burrow. Scored 23-20. I interviewed a person that watched the Super Bowl and had his thoughts to compare in the interview. What's your name? Sawyer Crowder. What was your thoughts on the Super Bowl, Sawyer? Well, I thought the Bengals was really going to win, and then all of a sudden, the Rams won and all that. What do you think about their offensive line? Offensive line, the Rams was really good. So that second half, it got, kind of got kind of sluggish. And then the Bengals, at the first half, it was bad. And also... The bang, yeah. In the defensive, yeah. Do you think Eli Apple deserves all the hate he's been getting? Who? Eli Apple. No. <coughs> you don't think so? No. I'm Michaela. I'm Andrew. Thanks for watching NAC News. Have a great week, Cardinals.
no, no, no. They, they didn't win. Everybody has a story about the Super Bowl. We gotta do it. Why would you talk? I knew what I was doing. I was just giving it times for him to play some sad music. And <laughs>